everyone. My name is Natalia Acevedo, and I'm a photographer. How did my journey start? Like any other organic story, there's always a start, in the sense of that there's always that moment where your heart just kind of like swells, and the excitement is inexplicable. Well, I could say that for a few reasons. Um, my journey started when my son Nathaniel was born. He is 13 now. Yes, a very cool teen. And I'll never forget the feeling of, it's almost like saying forever isn't long enough. It's like, it's the idea of, you know, all those first moments just not being enough to have witnessed it. You want to, it goes so fast that you want to revisit. You want to capture it. You want to grasp it. You want to keep it forever. Obviously, time forgets no one. But it occurred to me and to my husband that we could create some kind of magic, some kind of map back to that moment. And that's where photography comes in. That's when end photography was born. We wanted to make sure that our son was growing and as we were witnessing it, we were able to grasp so many of those first moments and be able to revisit. But it created the reality that, you know, these, these moments just fly by and you're not able to grab everything. But the ones that you do, though, the ones that you intentionally kind of like design and, and just make sure to implement, those are worth grabbing. Those are worth cherishing. And we never took it for granted. My love from photography obviously stemmed from that and that became a career for it just It became an obligation to create a life with a mission to just put this awareness out there. You can't continue going through life without knowing this treasure. It's such an advantage. Um, it's, it's part of the concept of our elders and how they weren't able to grasp everything, but the little that they did, those, those treasures are so comforting that it is worth creating a whole career to spread the word on just how special that is. All these emotions, all this intention, and all of this implementation definitely pushed forward my other concept of photography, which is time travel. When I first came out into the photography world, my slogan was, end photography, where time and photography fell in love. I was trying to find a way to express how, you know, we, we are responsible to make sure that those two worlds collide. But it's really the concept, right? It's the, it's the privilege of being able to go back in time, whether it's you want to change something or you want to see someone again or whatever the case may be, that science, I promise you, is actually through photos. Think about it. Every picture that you've ever taken, that you were present in the moment, that you were in the picture, for most part, maybe, you know, some years ago if you were little, you're not going to remember it to the T, but maybe you can I promise you, those pictures that you were present in, that you felt intentional in, that there was some kind of cosmic just feeling, you'll remember, at least for a few seconds, what that same moment was, what that embrace was, what the music in the background was, what the smell, the food being cooked, or whatever the smell is. You'll remember that exact moment. You'll be able to relive it. That's time travel. That's what I am trying to tell the world. Like we are sitting on the biggest treasure, the biggest treasure. Why not actually make something so simple way more valuable in your life? Why not actually appreciate it and make sure that others hear about it? It all comes down to one thing and it's love. How better to spread love than through photography? Once again, my name is Natalia Acevedo. I am here in this gallery as a photographer who is now considered considering herself an artist. I met Jessica Abbey, the awesome designer of all the couture that you guys will view today at a financial literacy um, seminar. I was there as a student 
as well as a business partner. My husband is a financial professional in this realm and we're just exploring the things that we need to learn. Shout out to World Financial Group. And I met Jessica and she basically introduced herself as someone who's here to make dreams come true. That moment meant a lot to me because I was just kind of telling her, we were just mingling in this event, and I was literally just telling her that I had a dream, which was to showcase my work at a gallery someday. And here we are. Magic happened, the universe aligned, and I am here before you as a photographer turned artist. What is my gallery about? It's of my family. It's of what I, cre what I consider beautiful, which is my personal lineage. Um, I am obsessed with flowers and the fact that this was a masquerade themed type event, I decided to literally curate my work to the theme of the show. Rosa you will see displayed literally describe legacy. Uh, the big photo which is the beautiful and elegant green-eyed goddess is my mother. She is my mom, my hero, and a big inspiration. She was, you know, that typical story of single mom in a world that didn't understand her. And she fought tooth and nail to give my brother and I the kind of life that she envisioned for us. Uh, that came with a lot of sacrifice and a lot of, you know, shedding different layers that she didn't know she had to shed. So that beautiful photo where she has all of these crystals on her face are basically a representation on how she was, you know, handed some stones and she made them into gems. That's why his name Unmask Her. Because as much as you want to unmask her, she is a survivor. She has made something beautiful out of everything that she was thrown. And I admire her strength. And as a mother, I can only imagine the struggles. Then secondly, I have displayed a photo of the men in my life. A few of them, so only the most important, right? Those are three men in my life that I absolutely adore. It's my son, my husband, and my brother. Uh, they are representing the love for the sport, but also for the reality of not everything comes out the way that you want it to, but you have to persevere. And in that photo, you see that they're kind of serious and but still f hopeful, and the name is Masculine. I just feel like that photo gave so much power and guidance to my son. It's just, it's cosmic for me because my son had the guidance from the masculine representation in his life, and this photo kind of brings all of that together. My third um, photo in the display of this gallery is my daughter. So. That one is actually directly linked to my mother's photo. It's almost kind of like saying, this is a before and this is the after. But also, it, she's her direct lineage. And it's a representation that, you know, her life went a certain way, but my daughter's doesn't need to be the same. That's why my daughter doesn't have a mask on. She, has, she hasn't been dealt the cards yet, and she still has a chance at her life, her way, in her own design. She's basically sleeping on a garden of roses and it's like a representation of being able to sleep in that peace. That view of just how much we want to make sure our children are still children.